So this leads us, Tyler. You knew this was coming, buddy. Mm. We got to do it, okay? Journalistic uh, integrity here, okay? Capital yeah. J. You launched a brand new chart mm, yeah, a few yeah. shows ago. It was called yeah. the Chovy Optimism Chart. <sighs> and now after a sound 3-0 sweep, defeat, crushing, stomping, whatever you want to call it, mm, where's that optimism mm. level, bud? Yeah, first off, I have to say I made this chart before they rolled Damo on the quarterfinals. <laughs> the chart wasn't supposed to be a meme. It wasn't supposed to be a one and done. I actually was like, cool, if if DRX gets Sooning or they get Gen G, I feel like they have a chance to make it out. Chovy can shine. Then they got rolled into DM1 and the kind of, it kind of became a meme. So uh, my chart for Chovy is over. Uh, as quicker, you know, a bit quicker than the North American Optimism chart. The North American <laughs> Optimism chart was a long, painful end. It was stretched out over like 14 days of agony. The, the 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 Chovy Optimism chart was a very quick exit, a very just uh, a very quick slice, and I was you know laughed out of my agony. Why is he I, was still a, thumbs up in the in the graphic though? Why is he still? Happy? Oh, because he's about to get paid to a lot home. of money. He's going to pay a lot of money in the off season. All right, uh, he's about to get paid. He's about to get paid, mm. and we'll talk about the next in our next segment. But uh, so yes, the Chovy Optimism chart is over. But there always must be one chart in the land, Arter. There must always be one chart on Wake Up Worlds. Which is why today I would like to unveil my new chart, the S O F M Optimism Chart, the Vietnamese star, the one lone star of Hanoi, the Vietnamese superstar himself, S O F M, style of me. The Optimism Chart is here, Arda. I love Vietnam. I was there last year. It quickly became one of the favorite countries I've ever visited. I love their fans. I love the passion from the Vietnamese fans. And SOFM has won my heart during the World Championships. Not only does he control his jungle, he controls the entire jungle. Counter jungling 24-7. I love his style. I love his pace. I love his breakneck. Just passion, Arda. In a region, I'm coming from North America with a lack of proactivity. And we just saw DRX have a lack of proactivity in their game. I know that Suning might lose tomorrow. SOFM might lose tomorrow. But I'm damn sure that he's going to go out with a fight. He is not going to die without playing balls to the wall. And that is why I have the SOFM optimism charts. Why didn't you just pick a damn one chart or something? Like, That's like too at least easy. the team that. Too easy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gotcha. a bandwagoner, Art. I'm not just going to be like, oh, here's the damn one optimism chart. Oh, I'm at 100 out of 10. I'm at the moon, Art. No. No, I'm I'm sticking with the I'm down here with the soldiers and mm. the the true heart and grit, Arda. I'm more about the grit than the glam. I'm the streetlights over the spotlights, Arda. I like to live for the underdog, and for the underdog, I have SOFM, the only Vietnamese player at Worlds 2020. The region teams not able to participate. He is their lone hopeful. The countrymen and countrywomen sending him gifts. You know, barrels after barrel, a slew of gifts to SFOF, SOFM this tournament uh, from the Vietnamese fans. I just can't, I have to support him. I have to support my boy here. I can't wait to see how he does tomorrow. If JD Game being beats them, then we'll have to get a new chart. But for right now, I'm at 10 out of 10. SOFM is about to wreak havoc on JD Gaming tomorrow. Uh, the people's analyst, Fionn on fire, yeah. indeed. 